Hi everyone, let's talk about the converse of Thales' theorem in geometry. Let's recall what Thales' theorem says. It says that if we have three points A, B, and C on a circle, then what we have is that, let's say A, B is a diameter, if and only if angle A, C, B is equal to 90 degrees. So one of the sides is a diameter if and only if the opposite inscribed angle is a right angle. But what if we want to show that a point lies on the circle? So essentially we want to establish some part of this where the third point is on the circle. So the converse of Thales' theorem, which is sort of a partial converse, is going to have to deal with that, where we establish that a point is on a circle. So let me state it for you. What we're going to be proving is that if AB is a diameter of a circle, so we draw AB and then we draw a circle that has the unique circle that has AB as the diameter. Let's call the circle gamma, capital gamma. And C is a point that is not A or B. Then if angle ACB is equal to 90 degrees, then C lies on gamma. So basically we're proving that we have we have a 90 degree angle and that forces the point where the 90 degree occurs to lie on the circle. So let's prove it. Let me draw a diagram so that's easier to visualize. So let's say A is here and B is here. So A and B and let's just suppose that C is out here, so it's not on the circle. It's going to end up being on the circle, but for now we're going to draw it as if it's a general point on the plane. That's not equal to A or B. So we draw O, which is the center of the circle and the midpoint of AB. And we have a 90 degree angle over here. So what we do is that we're going to draw a line through A that is parallel to BC. So this is parallel to this. So we're just going to keep keep drawing it like extend it both ways. And we're going to draw a line through B that is parallel to AC. So we have a parallelogram here. So this, let's call this intersection D and ACBD is a parallelogram. By, by construction as a parallelogram because opposite sides are parallel. But don't forget that we have a 90 degree angle up here. So in a parallelogram, if you have a 90 degree angle, then all of the interior angles are 90 degrees. So this is in fact a rectangle. Now we're going to invoke a property of rectangles, which is that Diag the two diagonals are equal in length and they bisect each other. So let's let's draw the other diagonal and we have AO equals to CO equals to BO equals to DO. That's going to come in handy for us. So what this allows us to conclude 
is that OC is equal to DC over 2 because the diagonals bisect each other and that's equal to AB over 2 because the two diagonals are equal in length and AB over 2 is equal to OA and OB. So what that means is OC is equal to OA is equal to OB and that means that C is an element of the circle because because OC here is a radius. So that forces C to be on the circle. That proves the converse of Thales theorem, or at least the version that we've decided to show here. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.